Earth Signs, welcome back, y'all. Today we doing Daily TNT with me. <laughs> Daily TNT ain't nothing but tarot talk, y'all. We just gonna be seeing what the cards got to tell you today. What is the message for you? Something that may have been missed or overseen or not looked at yet. We're going to go ahead and see what the day has to tell you. What's the TNT for earth signs? What does the cards have to tell my earth signs? This one with these legs. <laughs> Somebody really want to get your sheets wet. Like, literally. Somebody want to... Oh, my God. It's early. <laughs> it is early. This person on some bullshit, y'all. Somebody wants love. They want love, lust. They want all that shit from me right the fuck now. And they trying to figure out how the fuck to get it. This person trying to slither their little way into your boundaries so they can see if they can break them walls down. They working their magic. Some of y'all, this person could like the word black. Or they could look good in black. Yeah, they trying to come up with a new idea or a new way to get your ass. Somebody trying to pursue you and they trying to figure out a creative way to do it. They don't want to wait no more. This person getting impatient. They tired of waiting. They like, what the fuck? I need this and I need it now. It's my money and I need it now. Somebody like, what the fuck? It's my ass and I need it now. <laughs> what? No. Somebody like, it's my ass and I need it now. If you are a male Capricorn, somebody needs you. If you're a woman, they need your ass. This person ain't innocent or whatever, but it's like. <sighs> they not innocent or nothing like that, but they don't know how to. They don't want to lose this. Whatever they have with you, they don't want to lose it. They feel like you are somebody that's wise and you know how to use that wisdom at the perfect time. They feel like you make power moves, power plays, good moves. This person really look like, hey, they love you for real, but they one of them people that's like possessive with they love. It's like, if I tell your ass I love you, don't fucking play with me because at the same time, I could have did, I could have did something else with this fucking love that I'm giving you. So this is one of them people that <laughs> they may take a long time to really fall in love or really get to know somebody. Not saying that they don't fall in love like. Maybe I love each other fast, but this is one of them people that where it's like, if I love you, it's forever. This love is forever and it's unlimited, so don't fucking play with me. This is somebody that could have been used to like, they could have been through some shit or just had a lot of pain. And it's like, I don't want to go through that shit no more. So, so if I make steps with you, let me know if it's real first. Mm -hmm. This person feel like they in a doghouse right now. They feel like it's a lot of shit going on that they getting accused for. This person feels like they getting punished right now. And it's causing a huge transformation in this person. This person don't want to make no more mistakes. They don't want to come off bitter. They don't want to they don't want to they don't want to slip up. This person is like, "Okay, I don't feel the need to I don't feel the need to to act up. I don't feel the need to do the most because this person may be somebody that don't like to show that they care about you, but it's like, they, how do I say it? They mask is falling off. The veil is getting thin. It's like this person can't help but to show now that I really do fucking care about you. And it makes me weak. This person feels like love makes them weak. Real love. They don't understand what the fuck to do with it. It's like, damn, real love kind of makes me weak. I don't like being this vulnerable. I feel open. Some of y'all may got some motherfuckers in the bay. <laughs> That's a whole nother situation, but we got bullies out here, bruh. Bullies. Somebody think they can play with you or try to bully you. Somebody's trying to tease you or intimidate you or make you feel some type of way. And they feel like they can get away with it. Aww. Sorry for you, dum-dum. <laughs> Sorry for you, dum-dum. Mm. 
Bullies don't motherfucking phase earth signs, okay? Somebody should have let you know that. The fuck? <laughs> Y'all probably was one of them quiet people that people like to, like to fuck with. And then it's like when they fuck with you, they see a monster come out. Bitch, don't fuck with me then. Leave me alone, stay in your lane, stay in your areas. <laughs> Some of y'all just got people that just fuck with you because they feel like you're doing too much for yourself. You got people that really hate you because of your abundance, because of the things that you are getting for yourself, because of the change that you are bringing forth in your life. You got people that really hate you for who you are. And that's just what it is. Motherfuckers trying to bully you for who you are. You ever seen like... Everybody done went to school and shit before. Have y'all ever seen in school they they pick on a motherfucker that's cute or they fuck with a motherfucker that's quiet or a motherfucker that they feel like it's every time you got a bully, believe me, it's a motherfucker that's on some hating shit. That's all it is, is a is a, a hater. Some of them be undercover, some of them be low key, some of them bitches be bold. But they don't step too close. Some of y'all, you got somebody want to take you to a party or something. They want to try to make up with you by offering to take you to a, a celebration. They like, I don't want to fight. I know I ain't do things right. I know things weren't equal, but hey, let me take you to this little party. Let's go have a fun night. And when we get done, <laughs> when we get done, do you, <laughs> do you, goddamn me, want to fuck with me? This person like, after we get done celebrating, we can have a celebration at the crib. What you want to do? They trying to sneak their way back into your life by being your friend or giving you some type of loyalty. This person is trying to change and they feel like they need to be guided to do that by coming back to your life. This person don't want things to end with you. They feel like you are their safe space. It's like you the heart. Um, y'all ever watch the, uh, the Titanic where they be like heart of the ocean? You are the heart of the ocean for this person. This person could be somebody that's very emotional, but you are the one that bring them emotions to balance. You are the one that bring, bring all of that shit to ease. If this person's life feel chaotic, if they feel like, damn shit, I feel all over the place. My emotions here, my emotions there. If this person could be on the verge of wanting to break down and cry, but if they see your face or if they talk to you, Everything changes for this person. It's like, okay, well, now I feel better. You know, you like the heart for this person. This person is the ocean and you like the heart. Mm. Some of y'all, an ending could have happened in your life or somebody around you. And whatever this ending was, it caused some type of, it caused some huge ass motherfucking, um, it was a huge huge fucking thing okay why is that there somebody feel like a relationship changed them like um the ending of a relationship brought change into their life it's what made them switch it up this this ending caused so much of a fucking ordeal in this person's life that they just knew that they had to get it together like damn and now I know I got to get shit together because this, I ain't expect this to go like this. Some of y'all, this could be a Taurus. Somebody you was in a relationship with, a commitment with, or they want commitment. Some of y'all, this could be a Scorpio. Whoever this person is, it's a lot of shit that's going, I don't know, why is that there? Some of y'all, this person could be feeling like they just want to hide in a corner or just run. It's like they just want to get away from everything. They feel like so much shit is thrown off in their life and they feel like they just waiting on their ships to come in. They waiting on good news. They waiting on different things to happen in their life. And it's like, damn, what's going on? Why is shit not moving the way that I'm expecting it to go? But some of y'all, this person is becoming real paranoid or just... They could have been emotionally immature towards you, but it's like, they getting paranoid now. They like, damn, am I waiting for something that's really going to come through? Some of y'all, this is a single father. They got, um, 
somebody that's very generous with their money, very successful. You could have let this person go. We got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could have let this person go. You could have felt like things wasn't working out with this person. You saw this person as a wish fulfillment before, but you felt like shit, things were moving so slow. The wheel was never turning. So it's like, maybe I shouldn't commit myself to this situation because I keep trying to move it to calmer waters, but it's not working out. So maybe I should just let it go. Some of y'all have some people or some options or people that they didn't work out with that like, I'm not going to say they mad at you, but hey, some of y'all you do got people mad at you, but it's some people that things didn't work out with. They are really sweet towards you. They just regret how things went. You got more than one person that want like another opportunity, another chance with you. Um, you got somebody else here that could have been being sneaky or they could have been plotting. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The fuck? Whoever this person is that was being slick, they really wanted shit to work out with you, but this was the type of part this was the type of person that wanted to love you from sun up to sundown, but they couldn't stop they got in their own way. Whoever this person is right here, they got in their own way. You got somebody else that the relationship just didn't work out with because things were moving too slow. Or somebody wanted a connection with you and you let this go, but they still are not over this. You got It's like two past people. They are not over this. Some of y'all, this could be a Libra. Somebody was plotting and they was giving, giving, um, why is that there? Yeah. Okay. Somebody was plotting and they was given to an empress in reverse. Somebody could have been given to a, a bitter ass baby mama or a bitter ass baby daddy, or somebody could have just been given somewhere else. And it just, they was being slick. They wanted you. They was in love with you. They, they wanted you from sun up to sundown. Love you in the morning. Jay Howe. That's how this person felt. It's like, damn, I want to be here all day with you. But this person was still being slick. And it caused a huge tower moment in this person's life. For some of y'all, this person thought they had it all. They thought they had everything, like a lot of things to choose from. They like, ooh, I got this option, that option, that option. But what they didn't know was with all of these options you had, with all of these options that this person had, this person was still stuck in the past the whole fucking time. I ain't see that coming. I definitely didn't see that coming. Some of y'all, this could be a Pisces. We got Scorpio out here again, Gemini, uh, Aquarius. But this person was causing tower moments in their life, dealing with people that they never, people from their past. They was trying to heal situations from their past that they really, really didn't want to heal. Whole time this person been stuck on fixing the situation with you. That's all they wanted to do was work on this with you. They, that's all they wanted. They wanted to let you know that. They wanted to give you some clarity, but it's like they took too long to do it. So this person was just doing shit for no reason. You just be doing shit to be doing shit because... Uh, Mm -mm. <laughs> some of y'all you could have cussed this person they, you could have cursed, cursed their ass the fuck out or they feel like you will they don't want to they don't want you to they don't want you to tell them the truth they don't want to hear what you have to say because they feel like what you have to say is gonna cut deep well, let me tell, let me see about this other person over here then, cause y'all got options <laughs> coming towards y'all. People from the past that really want another chance. Why is this King of Pentacles here? Clarify the King of Pentacles. Hmm. 
This King of Pentacles is somebody that didn't really, they didn't want to put you in competition or anything like that. This person is like, look, I just feel like you're not stuck on this situation no more. This person felt like you had, they feel like you wasn't stuck on them no more. You didn't care about the situation because they felt like you had somebody in the background that you was dealing with. They felt like maybe you were still dibbling and dabbling with your, your twin flame or in some type of commitment with somebody else. Tell me how this could be a Pisces. This person didn't want to be put in competition. They like, look, I want you, but I don't want the, the drama or the competition. Like, this person could have been, like, having a hard time. For some of y'all, I don't even see that you even dealing with. You know what I'm saying? This person thought you was dealing with a lot of people. They thought you was dealing with somebody, two other people at least. And it's like, I don't think y'all was dealing with nobody. <laughs> For some of y'all, this person, this king of pentacles want a new opportunity with you. They want a rebirth. They want to start things over. This Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, they really didn't want to walk away from this situation. And actually, they still haven't moved on. They really want a chance to recognize you in this situation. They know you single or was single. And this person is like, damn, you know... Let me just be strong or let me just wait because maybe they're not ready to commit. This person needed some type of understanding from you and they didn't get that. But they didn't end things with you either. Okay. What else does Tarot have to tell you today? Let's see what deck I want to use. Come on, you make the world stand. The money make the world green. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What other messages do I need today? What's the TNT today? Give me the TNT. Y'all could be a bit confused. You don't know what decisions to make. You don't know what way to go. You don't want to leave some a situation behind or you don't want to leave something behind. But it's like you don't want to talk to anybody about it either. It's like you feel like you may be... I don't know. Some of y'all don't trust somebody. You don't trust a situation or a person. And you releasing control when it comes to this situation. Because you feel like you deserve better. Mm -hmm. Money make the world green. The mess out the gangway. Alright. What else? What's the TNT? Give me more TNT for Earth signs. All right, boop. Ready to. Some of y'all got some money coming in. Some fortune. Some well deserved fortune. And some of y'all have an immature ass bitch coming towards you. An immature woman. Somebody that's concerned about if things are going to work out for you or not. Whoever this person is, they hating in the background. They really want you to lose your money. You got somebody that really want, to, want you to lose every piece of finances that you have. They don't want you to have no money. This person feels like you have all the support in the world, and they don't. This person feels like everything works out for you, and they feel some type of way. They like, look, I don't want things to go in your favor. This person has been working. They like, I'm working hard. I should be the one to get the money. I should be the one to get the gifts. I should be the one to get this. But they don't. They get sadness instead. So, all right. Somebody trying to steal your blessings. That's what I got for y'all, Earth Signs. Thank you so much for watching Daily TNT with me. And I'm out, y'all.